And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel the Aramean, of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban the Aramean, to be his wife. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two peoples shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came forth ruddy, all over like a hairy mantle, and they called his name Esau. And after that came forth his brother, and his hand had hold on Esau's heel, and his name was Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bore them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a quiet man, dwelling in tents. Now Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison. And Rebekah loved Jacob. and put your keepers on. The plaintiff, Esau, accuses his brother Jacob of stealing his blessing and birthright. Jacob claims that he did not, in fact, steal the birthright because this right was his to begin with. Hello, I'm Judge Judy and I'm standing in for God. He's on vacation. I'm presenting to you case 27, Esau versus Jacob. How do you plead? I'm not guilty. I see you've brought several lawyers with you. Mr. Esau, state your case. My name is Esau. My brother Jacob has stolen my birthright and blessing. Your Honor, Jacob has tricked his blind father by disguising himself as his brother Esau. And how do you plead? He's not guilty, Your Honor. Your Honor, he stole my client's birthright. And how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Your Honor, he even stole his brother's blessing. And how do you plead? Not guilty. Jacob was born holding the heel of my client. And how do you plead? He's not guilty, Your Honor. For goodness sake, Your Honor, he even pushed his older brother off the monkey bars when he was six. Object! <laughs> he failed! <laughs> Did you hear the latest gossip? No, what happened? I heard he sold his birthright for soup. I heard that. Order in the courtroom. Jacob, what do you have to say for yourself? Mommy loves me more. I'm a good housekeeper, and I make a great matzo ball soup. And that's why I use straights. <laughs> no commercials in court. That's why Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. Order in the courtroom. Let's proceed. I would like to call Rebecca to the witness stand. <laughs> Gesundheit! Rebecca is the mother of Jacob and Esau, and is said to have been home when the blessing was allegedly stolen. Oh God, please help me. What were you doing at 2 a.m.? That's a good question. I didn't do anything because it was Shabbat. Did you convince your son Jacob to steal his brother's birthright? I know that Esau sold it to his brother for soup. No further questions, Your Honor. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Rebecca, do you truly love Jacob more? I plead the fifth. We would like to call Isaac to the witness stand. Isaac is a father of Esau and Jacob and is the giver of the blessing. <laughs> Thank you. 
So how's your vision treating you? I see you came in with a goat. I can feed just fine. Please turn around. I'm over here. I hear Judge Judy favors the goat. I heard the goat was blind too. To whom did you give the blessing, Father Isaac? I don't know. You tell me. That's why I'm asking you. Father Isaac, did you or did you not bless Jacob after finding out about his plots with Rebecca to obtain the blessing and birthright of the firstborn? I gave my blessing to the hands of Asav and the voice of Jacob. The jury will now reach a decision. Tune in next week for Rabbi Greenspawn's reading of the rest of the story.